This is the guide to the lease purchase program. There are several different lease purchase programs out there, formerly known as rent to own and rent to own has been done away with and now we have lease purchase. So there are three different programs that I'm going to talk about today and that is Halo, Divi, and Dream America. There are other lease purchase programs out there but I'm only going to focus on these three because I've had success with these three programs. What was the third one? Dream America. Gotcha. So Halo, Divi and Dream America. So as I've talked to you guys all before, hey, thank you for joining in. As I've talked to you guys before about buying versus renting, if you have a mortgage of $1,000 and you're paying that mortgage for 12 months, annually you've spent $12,000. If you have a house for $150,000, that $12,000, not the whole of it goes towards that $150,000, but a significant portion of it goes towards that $150,000 and brings the price of your home down to around $138,000. However, when you are renting, when you are renting, renting, uh, you'll spend a thousand dollars times twelve, and that's twelve thousand dollars a year. But there is no equity when you're renting; it's not going towards anything that you own, and so that's the difference between renting and buying. When you buy, you can paint your walls, make improvements, control your life, get a pet, have fun gatherings. When you're renting, there's no equity for you, no customization, no tax advantages. You have landlord rules and you can't throw wild parties. Everybody wants to throw the best barbecue shindig they can. All right. And so there are benefits to the lease purchase program. And those benefits are, it's a quick closing. If you choose to do a lease purchase program, you can close quickly within 30 days. You get to try before you buy. So you get to move into the home and try the home out and then buy the home after you've leased it. They also assist you with credit repair because they want you to be able to qualify for a loan within 12 to 36 months. I urge people, if you are going to do a lease purchase program, the benefit of the lease purchase program is to go ahead and buy the home within the 12 months. Here's the reason why. After 12 months, the price of the home goes up to the market rent. So you don't want to end up in a situation, they give you a stretch of three years. You don't want to end up in a situation where you found this wonderful house for $150,000 in 2020. And then in 2023, the same $150,000 house is now worth $225,000. And so you'll be paying more for the house than what you originally would have paid if you did it within the 12 months. Also low down payment. Most of these lease purchase programs are not requiring a high down payment. A conventional loan will normally want you to put down anywhere from five to 20% down payment. With the lease purchase programs, one of them is allowing you to put down one to 2% down payment. Another one is asking for about 3.5% down, down payment. And the other one is asking for about 5% down payment, but that is pretty low. Um, especially the 3.5 and the 1 and 2%. Uh, it also assists you with building a savings because as you're paying the rent, a portion of that rent is also uh, kind of like a little savings set to the side for when you purchase and a cash purchase. A cash purchase means that the company that is going to allow you to, to rent the home and then buy, they are going to pay for the home cash. And so when they pay for this home cash, a cash closing actually can be up to 14 days. It doesn't take a whole 30. However, that is way different from a traditional loan because a tr traditional loan roughly can take anywhere from 27 to 45 days, especially with COVID and paperwork and titles. Sometimes things can get delayed and closing dates can get moved. But those are some of the benefits of the lease purchase program. All right, the lease purchase program options are a great fit if you've had trouble saving up for that down payment. Uh, we think saving up is hard with lease purchase. You'll save up a little uh, with each monthly payment to afford your down payment. You do need, if you need time to get your finances in order, Divi only looks at your last six months of income, which means they're a great option if you're self-employed or recently started a new job and need more time to fully document your income. So Divi is a program that a lot of people are going through and actually getting homes and getting keys, especially during COVID 
COVID because they're only looking at your last six months of income. So if you were able to maintain your employment, but work from home for the past six months, and it wasn't the whole 12 months or whatever, they're willing to work with you as long as it's been six consecutive months, even if you're self-employed. Now, most self-employed people, I'm self-employed, uh, most self-employed people will have to go with a conventional loan in order to purchase a, a home. And usually with a conventional loan, it's 20% of the purchase price is your down payment that you need to have in liquid assets or cash to be able to purchase the home. In this case, they're willing to assist you with that down payment as well and bring it down. Um, this is also a great program if your credit score isn't quite where it needs to be yet. So Divi accepts a minimum credit score of 550 FICO. Halo accepts a minimum credit score of 480 FICO. And Dream America accepts a minimum score of 500 FICO. That's excellent because in order for you to qualify for a traditional loan, your score needs to be at least 620 and higher. Most loan officers would prefer for you to have a 680 or higher because at a 6 680 credit score, the down payment and the um, interest is a lot lower than at a 500 uh, or 480 credit score. So with these lease purchase programs, they're going to help you to fix your credit if you qualify for the program. And the goal of the program is for you to be able to save money, fix your credit, and purchase the home of your dreams that you're already able to live in. Anybody have any questions? No, I have a statement though. Okay, go ahead. That, that is great. <laughs> so, yes, it is a great program. And that's what I said. A lot of people don't know about it, but it is a great program. All right, so go back, go back. My little stuff moves a little. You know, I love technology, but sometimes it don't love me as much as I love it. All right, come on now. There we go. All right, so you're with Halo. This is so now. We're talking about three different programs. This program that I'm specifically speaking of today is right this second is Halo, okay? If you are interested, after I let you know about all of the different programs and applying, I do have the applications on my website at www.sashaedwards.realtor. All you have to do is scroll down and look for um, Halo, Divi, or Dream America. Click the link and it will allow you to go straight into applying for the lease purchase program. So with Halo, they want a minimum credit score of $480, I'm sorry, of 480 FICO um, with a clear path of re reaching a 620 within 36 months. So again, they give you this three-year span and that's great, but the goal is to buy within 12 months so that you get the home for the price at the current market rate and not when it has already appreciated and now you'll end up paying more. A minimum 12 months for bankruptcy discharge. So if you've been, if you've had bankruptcy, you can still qualify for this program as long as your bankruptcy was discharged 12 months ago, last year, 2020, 2019. And it has to be literally 12 months from the date. It can't be 11 and a half months, 10 and a half months. These programs do have strict guidelines and they don't have any exceptions. So it must, it's an absolute must, it must be 12 months uh, discharged from your bankruptcy. If you've had a foreclosure or short sale, 24 months from your foreclosure or short sale. So if you had a foreclosure or short sale and it shows up on your credit, as long as it's showing up for 2017, you should be okay. Uh, don't worry, they will help you to get there. The minimum gross household income before taxes has to be $4,500 a month. So this is a program that's really good for people who make the money. Monthly, you have a gross income, meaning before taxes, before they take out 401k, before they take out any medical benefits, your gross monthly income, and it can be single or combined, is $4,500 a month. Okay, and then with a credit score of 480, you might not, for a traditional loan, you need at least a 620 and up, and they're looking for you to have a, a debt to income ratio that doesn't exceed what the price of the house monthly payments would be. So with this program, it's wonderful that they only want you to be able to make $4,500 a month and show that for the for consecutively for six months. 
Um, you need two years of tax returns by the time you apply for the mortgage based on the standard FHA down payment guidelines. So the good thing about HALO that differs from a traditional mortgage is with the traditional mortgage, you need those W-2s up front. You cannot qualify or pre-approve for the loan unless they've received, hey, thanks for joining, keep coming in, please like, tag, and share. Uh, you would not be able to receive the loan or to be approved for the loan if you don't have two years of taxes. With this program with HALO, they are actually allowing you time if you haven't filed your taxes to go ahead and get those taxes filed while you're still renting the home. So it's not a requirement for you to have the two years of taxes right away. And then HALO requires that you have cash equal to 3.5% of the purchase price of the house in order to enter the HALO program. Now, that 3.5% of cash can be 401k, it can be a gift from a family member, but it cannot be a gift that they give you um, before you get to the closing. So for instance, let's say you're doing one of these boards because that's very popular, right? You're doing one of these boards and you're on one of the boards where you put in 800 and you get back 4,000. You cannot use that money in that way to use to purchase a house because there's no way for them to trace that money. So it would have to be a family or friend that would have to gift it to you, preferably family, because there's less paperwork involved when it's a family member who's giving you that money. And then they cannot transfer that money until you get to the closing until the end. So that's something that you have to hold on to all the way into the end of the transaction, not something that, um, but you have to prove that you have those funds available. So whether they're sitting in your bank account, sitting in your 401k, or the, or the family member who is going to to give you the $4,500 or your 3.5% down payment, um, they would have to have something notarized, um, a money order or check or whatever, showing that they're giving you that money and their relationship to you. All right, so how much would your monthly rent be with this program, HALO? So get no two customers and no two homes are identical. So lease terms are determined on an individual basis and factor in the cost of the home, property taxes, HOA fees, if any, and insurance costs. Rent start at $1,300 a month. That's wonderful because right now rent for a three bedroom, two bath in the state of Georgia is $1,500 a month. Anywhere between $1,400 and $1,500 a month for a three bath for a three bedroom two bath and literally we are in the ninth month of the year just nine months ago a three bedroom two bath in georgia was twelve hundred dollars a month so for them to start at 13 is good because you're not paying the high market rent and you're still be able to enjoy a home that you plan to own uh, does part of my rent go towards the purchase price of the home? Well, until you qualify for the mortgage, you're a tenant paying rent. No part of the rent is credited when you purchase the home. So you're paying rent and no money is going towards the purchase. However, in order for you to qualify for the program, they have checked your assets to make sure that you have 3.5% sitting in your bank account or that you have 3.5% sitting in your 401k that you're making uh, $4,500 a month. And so when you're paying, again, when you're paying rent, you only want to do this for 12 months. You do not want to do this for 36 months and turn around and try to buy the house because by then it will be too expensive for you. Uh, all Are all homes eligible for the HALO program? Thank you for joining. Come on in and stay in. So HALO is available on houses and townhouses for sale at $150,000 or more. Condos, manufactured homes, and land are not eligible for this program. HALO does not require new homes, but will order an inspection on a home you select and reserve the right to decline the home if there are issues that can't be remedied by the seller. So if, as I'm your agent, if we go out to look for a home, you've been approved for HALO, we find a resale, and the resale happens to have a roof leak. 
and the sellers refused to fix the roof, Halo is going to walk away and they're going to decline that property. However, if we go to a new home subdivision where everything is brand new, you're more than likely to, to get through the process because everything is brand new. They're going to send an inspector to inspect the property and ensure that, that they are buying a property that um, doesn't have issues that will be costly later on down the line. All right, so that is the HALO program. All right, so now let's talk about the Dream America program. Dream America minimum requirement score is 500 FICO. They want you to make at least $4,000 a month before taxes. It can be you individually. It can also be you and your spouse, you and your partner. Um, you, I've, I've done a mortgage uh, with someone who they bought the home with them and their, and their, and their um, child. Um, not as a child, that they're, they're, that's not the word I was looking for. I wasn't looking for child. I was looking for, just lost it. It won't come to mind. But anyway, they both bought the house together. Mother and daughter bought the house together. So uh, it can be a combination of income. It can be mother and daughter. It can be... Um, it could be husband and wife, it could be partners, but your combined income must be at least $4,000 a month. $5,000 or more cash available from your savings, 401k, or a gift for a $150,000 home or up. Applicants should meet the following minimum standards. Higher price homes are eligible, but more cash is then required to qualify. So if we go out and look at a home and it's $250,000, you go, oh my God, Sasha, <gasps> this is it. This is the house. Girl, oh my God, I, I can see I can see everything in this house. This is perfect. I can do everything I want to do in this house. That's great, but it's $250,000. So now you're not looking to just only have a minimum down payment of 3.5% is going to be a little bit higher because the price of the house is higher. So they are looking for you to have more cash than $5,000 available. So $5,000 starts at $150,000. If we doubled $150,000, that would be $3,000, $300,000. So therefore, they would probably be looking for you to have a cash on hand of $10,000 to qualify for this. This is a great program for first-time home buyers. $150,000 is, is, is like a three-bedroom, two-bath ranch. Um, and those are available. They are hard to get right now because so many people are trying to get them because they're going through these programs, but they are out there and we can go ahead and get them. Um, also, new construction is being built everywhere, especially on the south side, and they're starting at $190,000. So if you have the minimum credit score of $500, you have at least $4,000 a month in income, and you have at least $5,000 in cash, you may be able to qualify for this program. Debt to income ratio includes including dreams rent must be up to 50%. Your debt to income ratio is how much your expenses are versus how much your income is. And it can't be over 50%, including how much they estimate the rent will be once you qualify for the program. All right, so... We were at Dream America. Stop, go back. All right, we went through Halo, Dream America. Okay, so your debt to income ratio um, cannot be over 50%. They do look to see your rent history. So they're looking for you to have 12 months of on-time payments and you must be a U.S. citizen or permanent resident alien. Uh, no TIN numbers for this program. Thank you for joining. Please mute your mic. All right. When do you need to have the cash available? So payment is immediately due once Dream America has accepted an offer on the home you select or prior to signing the contract for a new construction home. You cannot start the Dream America home search process unless you have the funds available. If you are obtaining funds from a 401k or a gift from a family member, please discuss that with somebody on the Dream team during the application review process. Once qualified, you will go out with your real estate agent, moi, and pick the home you want 
and any available for sale in your area for 150,000 and up. Again, this is a great program for a first time home buyer. Three bedroom, two bath ranch, four bedroom, two bath split for you. Those are the homes that you're looking to buy. Uh, the good thing about these programs is you can get in now, lease it, purchase it. After you've purchased it, if in two, three years you say, you know what, Sasha, I want to buy a different house and I want to rent that out, you have that ability, you have that option, and you have the option to go and buy another home that may be more of your dream home, and this just is the home that gets your foot in the game. Uh, at any time, you can qualify for a mortgage. You can cancel the lease penalty-free and buy your home. So within the time frame that they give you, they give you three years, but we always urge for you to purchase the home within 12 months. So within 12 months of you purchasing that home, in six months, if you have gone through one of my preferred lenders and qualified pre-approved to get a mortgage, they can assume the loan to you from them to you and you're able to cancel your lease without penalty and assume the loan and own the home. If you still aren't ready to buy the home at the end of the lease, don't worry, as long as you have been paying your rent on time each month, you can renew for another year. So you do have that little left, that little space and cushion where as long as you're paying on time, if you still haven't gotten the credit where you need it to be, if you still haven't saved up enough money to purchase the home, then they'll go ahead and extend your lease. But again, and the thing about extending your lease is once that lease is extended, you're looking at another year that the house is on the market and going by the market value. And if the market value is going up, you're going to pay more money for that house. All right, so which homes are eligible? Asking price of 150,000 up to FHA limit of 400,000 max. So the maximum price of a home that you can go through this program is $400,000. Single family homes or townhomes, no condoms, no condos, and no manufactured homes uh, are eligible for this program. Only new construction or resale. Homes built or renovated in the last 15 years. You are responsible for maintaining the home. And the last thing we want you to have is big repair bills. So there is an exception, except for new constructions. Uh, they order the inspection on all homes before they purchase them and share the report with you. Now, the thing about the new homes is when it's new construction, of course, everything is new. Most new homes come with a 210 warranty, which means that within the first two years, there's a warranty on the foundation because the house is new and it has to settle. And then uh, within the next 10 years, there are multiple layers of things that are covered under warranty with the house. So that is the reason why the new construction is an exception. Also a reason why you should see me about a new construction home. All right. How does renting from Dream America work? Rent is determined by the house price, property tax, HOA fees, and insurance costs. To state the obvious, rent is more expensive than the cost of ownership once you obtain a mortgage. That is why we offer penalty-free early lease termination when you buy your home. So I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. All right. So now we're going to go to Divi. Now, most people don't know about Halo or Dream America. Again, each program has different criteria and guidelines. One will allow you to have a credit score of, of, of uh, 480. The other one will let you have a credit score of 500. Um, one wants you to make $4,500 a month. The other wants you to make $4,000 a month. Most people don't know about these programs. Divi, however, has been marketing um, via Facebook and other social media accounts. So you may have seen Divi before and didn't really know what it is. So we're going to go ahead and dive into the Divi. Divi is successful at getting a lot of people into homes right now during the pandemic. So if it is something you're interested, please email me at miss.sashaedwards at gmail.com or you can go fill out the application at www.sasha edwards.realtor. All right, so let's dive into the Divi program. So Divi, for Divi, you need a minimum FICO score of 550. That's still wonderful because for a traditional loan, you need a minimum credit score of 620 to 680, depending on the lender. There are some lenders that are willing to lend with a low score of 600. However, again, the lower your score, the higher your interest rate and the more down payment they're looking for you to have as well. They're also looking for you to have reserves. 
when you are when your credit score is higher the requirements for reserves down payment and interest rates are less okay so that divi wants you to currently be employed or have other steady income sources they want a maximum monthly debt to income ratio of 50 percent including the potential divi home payment no evictions in the previous year that's a great thing. Most people can't even rent these days if they've had an eviction within the last five years. So they are willing to work with you as long as your eviction was not in the last 12 months. That's wonderful. No bankruptcy within the past 12 months, within the past year. That's awesome. Many people have had to file for bankruptcy. And so as long as your bankruptcy has been discharged within the last 12 months, this program may be able to help you. All right, applicants should meet the following minimum standards, a criminal background check to qualify for Divi Homes, and an applicant must pass the criminal background check. So, as you notice, with the first two programs, there was no criminal background check, but with Divi, there is a criminal background check. So, if you have the money and you have the credit, but you have a felony, this program wouldn't be for you. However, you may be able to go through the other two programs. All right, criminal background check to qualify for Divi Homes, uh, the applicant must pass, and Divi Homes does not have a no prior felonies policy for applicants. So they're very strict on their policy with felonies um, and criminal background checks. There is no way around it. This just would not be the program for you if that is an issue. All right, so for Divi, this, the process is to complete the application. It's free, it's fast, and it won't impact your credit score. It only takes about five minutes to pre-qualify. Once you're pre-qualified, you'll get approved for a budget. Once you're approved, you'll receive a budget to go shopping. Once you get that budget letter to go shopping, that pre-approval, you'll email that to me, Edwards at gmail.com. I will be able to see how much the home is for and how much you need. Hey, thank you for joining. Come on in. Um, I will be able to see how much the home they're going to give you to purchase a home. And then I can select homes based on that purchase price and your criteria, your location, the amenities that you're looking for, um, and any type of features with the home that you're looking for. I will be able to detail that according to the budget set forth by Dizzy, Divi. Uh, you'll be able to choose your dream home, partner with your agent, Sasha the Realtor, to find your dream home. Choose from any homes on the market that qualify. Divi pays for the home, will pay for the home cash and cover all the fees, closing costs, taxes, and insurance. All we need is a down payment of 1% to 2%. Whoa. All they need is a down payment of 1% to 2%. Again, as I explained, a FHA traditional loan is 3.5% of the purchase price of the house. 1% to 2% of the purchase price of the house is a really nice low down payment. So it's definitely something to consider. Uh, move in, and it's great, especially during the pandemic right now. Move in and save, move in into your Divi home and start saving to gradually build up ownership of the home. Most of our customers are able to become mobile mortgage eligible in less than three years. So again, they give you this three year stretch, but the smart thing to do, because Sasha the realtor told you, is to get that home within 12 months so you get a fair price for your home with the current market value, okay? And buy the home or walk away with savings. At any point, you can choose to either buy back the home with the money you've saved or move out and cash out your savings. So they are willing to give back a portion of the money if you decide to move. That is great as well. There are people who walk away from the homes. Um, there used to be a company, uh, they still are in existence called Trio, that also used to do lease purchase programs. And they um, had some, some stuff with HUD where HUD wanted them to do the paperwork a certain kind of way. Anyway, long story short, they allowed their tenants to pay like $7.99 or $1,000, somewhere around there, to walk away from the home and not purchase without it impacting their credit. So that's a wonderful cushion as well. All right, so we're going to dive into the dream team. In order to purchase a home, you need a dream team. Your dream team consists of your realtor, your loan officer, your home inspector, and your closing attorney. In this case, because we're talking about lease purchases today, the loan officer would not be a preferred lender that I would work with. It would be someone who they prefer to use uh, with which program you qualify for. Together, everyone achieves more. Teamwork makes the dream work. 
So the first thing we would need to do is have our buyer consultation. I am located at Peachtree City, 500 North Lake Drive, Suite 100, Peachtree City, Georgia, 30269. I do have a mask. We do wear masks in the office. If you need to come by um, and make an appointment, you can. If you cannot make it and you would like to do a virtual consultation, I'm also available for virtual consultations. Just email me or text me at 404-360-5715 and we'll go ahead and find a way to um, schedule out your buyer consultation. The buyer consultation, we need to determine what type of home you're looking for, including your style, your price, location, 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 location. Location changes the price of the home. You could have two of the same exact homes in two different locations. One can be $250,000 and one can be $150,000 just because of the location. One is near a lake and one is near nothing. All right. Uh, you will need to be pre-approved. You will need pay stubs, W-2s, bank statements, and at least a 620 credit score for a traditional loan. However, today we are talking about lease purchase programs. And as I showed you before, with the lease purchase programs, the lowest one is going for 480. The next one wants you to have a 500 and the last one wanted you to have a 550 credit score to work with their program. Uh, knowing what you can afford is critical in, the, in a successful home shopping experience. So that's really important to know how much you can afford. There is no fun in going to look for a home and you don't have an idea or even a ballpark figure of how much you're gonna be able to afford financially. It's just like pretty much just a waste of time. So when we're searching for homes, that's the fun part. I love looking for homes. I love looking at homes. I love real estate. Um, as your realtor, I will schedule showings to help you find the home. Not all real estate websites are the same. I have tools and systems to ensure that you see everything available that meets your criteria. So sometimes people will go on Zillow. Zillow is a great tool. It's great for searching for homes. However, a lot of the homes that people send me from Zillow are already under contract, which means they're already in the process of being sold. So if you want fresh, new, what just came on the market, contact your realtor, Sasha the realtor at 404-360-5715 or email me at miss.sashaedwards at gmail.com for listings. You can also go to my website at www.sashaedwards.realtor and click on search homes and it will allow you to see what's on the market. And if you find something you like, you can say, hey, Sasha, is it possible for us to book this? I'll be happy to go ahead and book it for you so we can go take a look at it. I also do same day, um, same day home searches. If, if at 9 a.m. you call me with a pre-approval, we can go see as many homes today as I can schedule for you. So please know if you do have a pre-approval and you want to go look at homes, I do same day pre-approval home showings as long as the property is available to get in. Those some good programs you got here. Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate the feedback. It is really good, especially now that we're in a pandemic, um, because a lot of people are not able to do the traditional route. A lot of people may have had a 700 or 800 credit score three months ago or four months ago and then the pandemic hit and they couldn't get all the bills paid on time due to the pandemic and their scores have dropped and their goal was to purchase a home. Well, you can still reach that goal with these programs. So it's great that they have it there. Um, once we find the home, we'll do what's called make an offer. Now with the lease purchase program, the people in the program are going to offer cash for the home. So if they offer cash for the home. If the seller accepts the cash amount that they're offering for the home, then they've made the offer. Everyone will be in agreement for the price and then we'll move into under contract. Uh, usually in a traditional scenario, when you are making the offer, you want to have your earnest money at that time. And the earnest money can usually be about 1%, somewhere around what the cost of the monthly mortgage would be. Um, and so usually you, you bring that forth to show that you're a serious buyer. However, with the program Halo, Divi, and Dream America, they're asking for you to have that 3.5% already upfront sitting so that they, they have some type of collateral to be able to do the transaction. Mm. 
That sounds better because the apartment, like you say, money go down the drain. Pretty much. And unfortunately, once you are um, paying rent, there's it, you just it, the money's going. There's, there's no equity in it. You're not getting anything out of it. All right. So this negotiations and contract. In most cases, uh, the contract provides you with a timeline to obtain financing. In this case, we are talking about uh, lease purchase program. So during the negotiation and contract period, basically the seller agrees to accept cash from one of these programs. You really don't have anything to do with this process at that moment. And the reason you don't have anything to do with this process at that moment is because they are paying cash for your home and they're the ones who are going to put uh, a, re a lease in place with you for you to buy the home from them. However, in a traditional uh, home sale, you would then go ahead and, and prepare negotiations and then we would be under contract. Once we're under contract, you and the seller have agreed to the price and terms of the home and it is effectively held for you until closing. They're not taking any more offers. They're not allowing anyone else to go in and undercut you to buy the home. Hey, thank you for joining. Come on in. All right, so prepare for the closing. Uh, with the lease purchase programs, you won't have a closing. You may go to one that they're doing, but it won't be your closing. Your closing will happen when you purchase the home and you sign about a hundred sheets of paper stating that you are responsible for this loan. You are going to pay every month for the 15 years or 30 years with the fixed interest rate set above. So with the lease purchase program, they're taking all of this and they're doing this with cash and they're doing these negotiations for you. And then after they purchase the home for you, they're going to lease that home to you, allow you to live in the home, enjoy the home. And within 12 to 36 months, purchase the home back from them. Again, you want to purchase that home within 12 months because you don't want to pay more for the home than it's worth. Uh, you'll be finalizing your loan, reviewing your documents and discussing the findings. And then there's closing day. Closing day is when this is is when they transfer funds of ownership and the title company and attorney typically acts as an independent third party to facilitate closing. Now, why do you need a um, title company or attorney at this at this point? Because they're making sure that if we were looking for a resale, that there is no lien or any debt on that resale that you could inherit purchasing that home. So they are very crucial to the process because they handle all the legalities and make sure that all the documents are legit. There's a lot of scams out there, people. So please like, tag, and share to your friends and your family about this information because there are a lot of scams out there. People really don't know what they're getting into. I myself have been scammed, which is why I am a realtor today. And so I want to avoid things like that happening to people. So that's why I do these webinars every Thursday at seven to give people free information on how to buy a house because it can be done. It's not easy. If it was, everyone would do it. But if you are determined, you're willing to sacrifice, you are focused, it can happen. So closing day is typically when you get your keys. Once you get your keys and your garage door openers, then you're safe to go ahead and move into your home. You've effectively gotten into the home. With the lease purchase program, you will live in the home and enjoy the home again with the idea that you're going to purchase the home within 12 to 36 months. The program does not go over 36 months. Thank you for joining. Come on in. All right. And so uh, if you are interested in a lease purchase program, uh, if you have any other questions, I'm open for questions. You can also schedule a consultation with me one on one. If you have something personal you want to discuss to see which program would best fit you, I'll be happy to do a one on one consultation. You can reach me at www.sashaedwards.realtor if you would like to apply for any of the programs I discussed today. All the applications are online. If you would like to contact me directly, my number is 402. 4-360-5715. You can also email me at miss.sashaedwards at gmail.com. Does anyone have any, any questions about this program or about purchasing a home today? Hello. Um, how small or how big can a gift be when you said a gift? 
So they probably they looking for that gift to be about four thousand five hundred dollars, and you it can it can also be your tax money. I also didn't mention that it could be your tax money. So let's say you file taxes, you get like seven grand back. You can use your tax money with the gift. Let's say somebody got their tax money and they wanted to gift you that money to purchase the home, but they're not the ones who want to go on the loan. That's fine as long as the money can be traced to where it came from. So whatever the gift is, it can be a gift as low as $500 and you put the rest of the $4,000 to, uh, with that $500. But that is definitely something that you want to be careful with because if it's not a family member and it's a friend, there's a whole lot more paperwork involved with gifting because they want to trace the money. Also remember, you cannot trace money through Cash App or PayPal when it comes to purchasing a home. The only way that they trace money when you're purchasing a home is through bank accounts. So if someone is going to gift you anything, 500, 3,000, 4,500, they have to be able to show that money coming into the account or they're not going to accept that gift as your down payment. Does that answer your question? Yes. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Go ahead. Um, do you need co-signer for these programs? You do not need a co-signer for these programs. As long as you fit the criteria, what they're asking for, as far as the credit score, how much money you have available for your down payment, as long as you meet the qualifications, you do not need a co-signer. Ooh, that's pretty, pretty good. Because the goal is to get you to be able to sign for your own home. So they don't want you to have a co-signer. They want you to fix your credit so you can purchase your own home. Wow. Now, what if you have, um, what's it called? The other one where you say you don't have to do the lease to purchase, but uh, what's the question? You got the score up, but you just maybe don't want to go that route. That's still fine? Yes, that's fine. So if you if you didn't want to take the lease purchase route and you wanted to go the traditional route, you would need to at least get your credit score to a 620. Again, there are loan officers that I work with that will be able to do a loan for 600, but you're going to be able to, you're going to have to come out with more cash out your pocket. The higher your credit score is, the, the lower amount of cash you have to come out with your pocket. So we really try to push people to have a credit score of at least 680 because with a credit score of 680, they're not asking you to have reserves to cover three to four hey thanks for tuning in to cover three to four months of your Ooh. in case you lost your income does that answer your question yes okay come on come on come on don't be shy anybody else got any questions ask questions y'all too quiet i know y'all here ain't done but ask some questions <laughs> I do have people on Facebook, and if you are typing in a question on Facebook, I do not see it, um, but you can email me at, at uh, miss.sashaedwards at gmail.com if, um, if you have any other questions about the lease purchase program. Well, I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Again, please like, tag, and share. I will be doing another webinar next Thursday. Next Thursday, I will have a special guest. Uh, it will be Tony Pitts next Thursday. So we'll discuss the traditional mortgage and he'll have a lot of information, a wealth of information on what they're looking for on the traditional mortgage as far as your credit and your debt and how to be able to get a blueprint to purchase a house traditionally if that's something you want to do. We'll also go over the different types of loans, FHA, uh, USDA, VA, and conventional loans. And we'll also go over the do's and don'ts, what can break a deal before you end up having the keys. So um, it's going to be informative. It's going to be fun. I hope that you was able to get a wealth of information today. I tried my best to present this information in a way that um, it made sense, in a way that it was simple. And for people to understand that just because you may not be able to purchase a home traditionally doesn't mean that there aren't programs out there that's willing to work with you. And during the pandemic, everyone needs to need someone to work with them on something. So this is a wonderful uh, piece of information to have. Again, please like, tag, and share. I'm your girl, Sasha the Realtor, and I'm out. <laughs>